So this is a book which is which I'm writing jointly with uh, my old friend and colleague Muzaffar Alam, who is a professor in the University of Chicago. He and I have been working together now for a long time, more than uh, 20-25 years, and we've written several books together. So this is another one in that series, and it basically focuses on um, travel accounts um, written and also other first-person accounts, more like let's say you know autobiographies and things like that, written in the Mughal period, uh, not by famous people. Or certainly not by famous people uh, today. Uh, some of them were quite famous at that time, but uh, they are not remembered. And it's sort of looking at uh, how they, uh, you know, uh, observe the world around them, how they place themselves in relation to that world, uh, their observations about all kinds of things. And uh, um, I mean, um, uh, there are also people who are, you know, placed somewhat differently. Some of them. Though they are writing in Persian, are actually Hindus, but they are you know people who know, who know Persian well and express themselves in that as a literary language. But there are also, let's say, uh, middle-level Muslim bureaucrats. Uh, there are people who sometimes you know even have something to do with the Mughal royal family. So it's a it's a, a, a diverse group of people, and uh, it's a kind of um, social and cultural history, you might say. Well, you know, the difficulty is fundamentally this: that I have so far had difficulty with, uh, you know, talking to uh, certain kinds of. I mean, these publishers who very uh, periodically uh, approach me and say, you know, write us a book. And then, I mean, what I don't like about these conversations is that uh, they seem to know exactly what should go into the book and how it should be done. And then, you know, you feel that you're just completely being instrumentalized in this whole thing, and your role is just to give your name to it and be present as an author uh, what is the in intellectual interest of this for me then you know i mean i'm only interested in i mean, i don't write books paid to make money you know i write books i mean i get paid a salary i i write books because i feel like writing books if tomorrow i don't feel like writing books it's not going to affect my standard of living so uh i mean for me the real challenge is to write a book which is interesting for me which is interesting for people whom i respect and whether uh, you know it reaches some huge mass audience by by uh, com making compromises, and this is what I don't like: is, is this there's these publishers uh, who always talk the language of compromise, you know, and and it just, just doesn't agree with me. No, I don't feel. I mean, of course, you know, you have uh, the obvious kinds of problems which you'll probably find even if you look at the kind of audience you get in a, which is that of course uh, you know there are people who go to india as tourists or whatever and have a certain you know superficial uh, understanding of stereotypes and clichés and so on and sometimes you know they'll come up with those and say to you well you know you say this but we know the from you know having read our tourist guide that it's not like this it's like that um but i have never found it to be such a huge problem uh or at any rate i don't find it a bigger problem than sometimes you know uh, communicating to people in india who think they know everything that they need to know about indian history without ever having read uh, or done research on it because their grandmother told them you know well it's it's not going to go away you know because i mean the fact of the matter is basically this that you know uh, i mean india after all is a country which has these different communities and uh, the political arrangements which will have to be there in one way or the other going to have to manage the fact that there are these different communities so uh, in a way that is part of the uh, question uh, which uh, uh, secularism is is also about uh we are not going to become a, a country which is uh, completely homogenous and made up of just one group of people therefore we don't have where we don't have to manage diversity so uh yes you're going to this is going to be an ongoing problem and people seem to have very different notions of how you deal with this problem and um i mean i think that this is going to be have to i mean you know discussed in the intellectual sphere but it will also be fought out on the ground in in terms of politics